Go to Create, go up here and select JavaScript, and you can either select one of these provided templates or create a new project. Let's create a new project. Go to the side JavaScript tab and then select basic JavaScript project. What you're going to want to do first is go up here and then select the word untitled and rename your project. Let's name this built in data types and then hit the return key on your keyboard. This middle section is your actual code editor. It's where you're going to write and edit your code. And then on the right is the preview where you can see your code's output. And on the left is where you can see your files, folders, and images. Let's look at this main.js file for a second. If we wanted to, we could go up here to our snippet button and then go to JS for JavaScript. And then we can either add a comment, array, object, for loop, any of these helpful code snippets are provided for you to use. So if we wanted to use a comment, we would select comment and then select insert and see it appears. But let's go back to our .html file. Let's title our project basic data structures. And then let's also make that our header. And then notice here our changes are automatically updated. Okay, so now let's add some script tags. And what we're going to do is define a variable num and assign it the value five. Add our semicolon. And then now let's call document.write with the following arguments. And then notice our output. Say that we are typing our code and we forgot to add our closing parenthesis. Let's see what happens. Notice our code didn't output as expected. So what we're going to do is go to this little button here. And this is our JavaScript console, which tells us the errors and bugs in our code. So here it says that we have a syntax error and we're missing our closing parenthesis. So what we're going to do is go back to our code, find our error, fix it, and see if our error went away. And it did. Now, see if you can expand on your project by adding a float, a string, or character. If you get stuck or want to compare your code, what you can do is use the provided built-in data type template. Let me show you how to get to it. You're going to click this back arrow to go back to your dashboard, go to create, JavaScript, data structures, select basic data types, and the rest of your code should look similar to this. 